A continental think tank on matters green energy, NZ Ijayo, is seeking foster partnerships and support towards growing investments in green energy solutions that provide a sustainable path towards greening Africa. Speaking on the sidelines of the Africa Climate Summit, NZ Ijayo director Charles Wanguhu points out that Africa lags behind the globe when it comes to adoption of renewable energy despite hosting immense green energy potential. Only 7% of Africa's renewable energy potential is currently being used. This is against 80% of the continent's population yet to be connected to a power grid. NZ Ejayo has launched an initiative that seeks to foster energy transition policies and solutions that are inclusive, equitable, accountable and contribute to socio-economic development in Africa. Such solutions, he added, are expected to drive actionable outcomes to push Africa connect to her people to the green power grid. He said the government must set up an enabling policy environment that promotes renewable energy, investment and infrastructure development. So what we are trying to look at is policies that are already developed that we can focus on implementation. I think uh, in the climate space the challenge has been a lot of commitments which have not been followed up. And so every, every summit or every uh, COP there's another commitment. So one of the things that has been discussed is how do we transition to net zero when we have these resources that have not been completely exploited and that they are a major source of revenue for some of these African countries. Another issue that has been discussed is the issue of the youth in the transition. Meanwhile, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Moi, Kisumu and Eldred International Airports have earned the Level 2 Reduction Certification under Airports Council International World's Esteemed Airport Carbon Accreditation, ACA program. The ACA program is a global carbon management program for airports, offers an impartial evaluation, measuring and rewarding airports for their carbon management efforts. It strives to enable the airport industry to effectively reduce its carbon footprint and to benefit from increased efficiency through lowered energy consumption. KAA Acting Managing Director Henry Ogoy said accreditation of level 2 reduction is a testament to the authority unwavering commitment to environmental responsibility even as it explores additional ways to mitigate carbon emissions at the facilities. There are currently 10 accredited airports in seven countries in Africa at level 2 reduction, representing 20.6% of African air passenger traffic.